The developer of Manor Lords has given us a bunch of information in his FAQ. He gave a bunch of answers to the most frequently asked questions. So starting off with what engine is the game on, it is being run on Unreal Engine 4. He is the only permanent studio member, but he does cooperate with different freelancers. For example, as we saw in the making of the soundtrack video that they released, uh, he, you know, he contracted a small orchestra to make the soundtrack and as well as a choir. And then he also has partnered with a professional QA company called QLock. And of course, he has his publisher, Hooded Horse, who honestly usually does a wonderful job. I've never had any issues with Hooded Horse games before. The release date is on April 26, 2024 on PC. I do believe it will be coming to Xbox as well, but it will be coming at a later date. So Manor Lords will be available on Steam, GOG, and the Microsoft Store. It will also be available day one on the PC Games Pass. And he did say, again, an Xbox console version will be coming at a later date. So currently, Manor Lords is confirmed for both the PC and Xbox platforms. He doesn't say anything about the PlayStation, so I'd assume there's nothing about that in the works, at least for now. So there is no final price that has been announced yet, but they have explained why this is. Basically, a Hooded Horse employee came out and explained that the reason that there's no set price is um, they don't like releasing prices early for the games because a lot of times they do regional pricing with Steam and they have the game a lot cheaper in different regions such as like Turkey and uh, I think they said Armenia though, I could be wrong. Uh, but basically regions where the US dollar, like if it was at a standard price that you buy it for like in the US, people there wouldn't be able to buy the game at all because uh, they're like, they're... Uh, native currency to us conversion is so bad so that's the reason they don't give a price in usd is the price really changes from region to region and obviously they're not just selling it to people in the us so there's that um, they have confirmed that it'll be less than a triple a game so don't expect expect like a 60 or 70 dollar price tag my guess is it'll be somewhere between the 30 to 40 dollar price range I'd be willing to pay a AAA price just because I'm so excited for this game, but I know a lot of people are expecting 30 to, 30 to 40, and honestly, that's what I would expect as well. Because it is the most wishlisted game on Steam, I bet they could sell it for 40 at a pretty successful deal. So, they are launching into early access uh, in April, and they're not sure how long it will be, or they're not sure how, sure how long it'll stay in early access. It'll depend on a player feedback and development needs. There will be a mode without combat, as if you didn't know, combat's actually a pretty big part of this game, as you will be able to raise armies in a total war esque style of combat and, you know, fight against bandits and other things in the map. So the battles are not on a separate map, all the gameplay happens on a single map real time with speed controls and pause which is slightly different from total war because the battles sort of take place on their own maps depending where the battles are happening so it is different and honestly i like this version more it feels more immersive it doesn't like take you out of the game every time you go into menus and stuff like that so he did confirm that there won't be walls and fortifications uh, when they launch into early access but they he did say that he wants to add walls and fortifications as well as naval battles and cavalry all after he launches into the initial early access and fix all the problems with the base gameplay. Personally, I think naval battles sounds really, really cool. Cavalry is cool as well, but naval battles will be dope for sure. I hope that it actually shows the individual people on the boats instead of just having you uh, control the boats. I mean, so far, the details that we've seen in the game with the demo and all of the trailers have been absolutely insane, so I wouldn't put it past him to actually show the sailors sailing on the ships instead of just having it like a ship you control with no people on it. So he did confirm that there won't be any different cultures at the early access launch of the game however he did say that exploring different cultures and themes in the future is something that he has thought about i did see a comment uh, on reddit suggesting like a japanese style culture and i think that would lead very well into like a reskin mod of the game that'd be very cool so you know if someone wants to make that once they add modding that sounds like something i would definitely be interested in he said that there wouldn't be multiplayer on release that's something that a lot of people have been asking about. I mean, I'm, there's like two questions on Reddit every single day about whether there will be multiplayer or not on uh, early access launch. However, he did confirm that there wouldn't be, but it is something that 
Um, he's, you know, he's thinking about for the future. If you're looking into ways of supporting the game or the project, you can't actually pre-order the game, and this is because you can't pre-order early access games on Steam. However, he did say, you know, wishlist it, stuff like that, talk about it on Reddit. There are no plans for any other demos at this point. If you didn't know, there was a demo back in like uh, 2020 or something, and a lot of people enjoyed it. That's where like all these early gameplay videos came from. And honestly, a lot of people would have been happy with just the demo. So that goes to show how excited people are for this game, as he probably has added a bunch since the demo. So the gameplay mechanics that he has planned for the initial early access build are city building, where you can develop your region from a tiny village to a dense town, build industries, unlock development branches, plan and upgrade your manor. With army and management and battles, you can draft villagers, hire and upgrade your retinue, and hire mercenaries to fight against bandits and invading lords. And finally, claims, you can earn influence and lay claims to neighboring lands. And he will also have a small selection of different modes and scenarios, as well as initial versus of things like policies and a technology tree, or initial versions of things like policies and a technology tree. So currently, the only way to get access to the closed alpha is through their Discord. I don't really think that you're going to get access to their alpha at this point as the release is in 16 days, but you know, you're welcome to try. Uh, just join the Discord and there is a way of joining in there. He does say that there will be a mod support, but it won't be implemented until after at least 1.0. So I'd give that at least another year before there will be mods. I don't know how I feel about that. It might actually be cool if he released modding support before 1.0 just to see what the community comes up with but I definitely understand it and maybe you know 1.0 isn't that far off who knows he said that he started developing the game in July 2017 and currently he's not sure whether he will add guns to the game but if he does it'll be one of the last things he does with an option to turn them off for people who don't like them as guns could definitely be like overpowered or something like that and anyways, there are some confirmed things that will not be in the game, such as dynasty mechanics. So like in Crusader Kings, where you move on from yourself to your kids, there will be no heroes or leader units, no single person units in general for now, and no town guard. And other than that, he did talk about expanding, like whether you can build a castle and stuff in the future. And I think he said that he might expand on those features in the future. But anyways, that is all the information that he has given us. It's looking really good. We only have 16 days to go. I'm really excited. I'll be releasing videos on it when it comes out. So if you want to catch those, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, I really appreciate the support. And thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you next time.